if you sit down and watch a Wes Anderson film not knowing who directed it, after 10 minutes you'll know that it's a Wes Anderson film. He's certainly an auteur and he's certainly a, a visionary, so that's probably all we need to say. <laughs> Wes Anderson film when you see it. The awkward silences, the artfully framed shots, Bill Murray and Jason Schwartzman. But in the modern movie market, his is a unique talent. There are lots of things in the way of an individual defying genre and becoming one of his or her own. So, what does it take to be a modern day auteur? From 20th Century Fox, this is Screen Dive, a show that takes a deeper dive into your favorite movies. I'm Alex Kratoski, and in this episode, we will be ruffling the fur of Anderson's breakout foray into stop-motion animation, the delightfully quirky and totally Wes, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox is a marvel of modern cinema. So I get up, and I'm, I'm, I've got my hand on the doorknob, and David Gatter says, well, we got this other thing. I turn around, and I said, I said, you know, what? He said, ah, it's been kicking around for a few years. Alien 2. And I thought, this is the moment when I must not show what I'm feeling. Like, the, I had to be poker. I mean, inside I'm going like, yeah, whoa, Alien 2, fuck, you kidding me? <laughs> you know. So they hand him a sheet of paper with a single paragraph on it. Ripley goes back to the planet, there's a bunch of aliens, they kill a bunch of colonists, and she has to fight them. I mean, that's what it said. And I thought, okay, all right, I can work with that. And This episode of Geepy is brought to you by Hip Chat. I am audio and video chatting and share your screen and files all in one application. Stop taking pictures of your whiteboard so you can access it later. Smart cap to the rescue. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geeky. When you're building something awesome and when you're working with an awesome team like I do daily, you want to communicate better and more effectively to get rid of all those emails going back and forth and focus more on the awesome, right? You can do that with HipChat. It's a collaborative platform that allows you to do chat, do video and audio calls, share your screen, no more multiple services doing all those different things. I've never written a joke for anybody else except for me and these other four guys. You know, we write them for ourselves. The gamble is like, well, if we think it's funny, our audience will probably think it's funny. And if we're wrong, then that'll be the end of the career, I guess. So you think you're funny. You and your buddies have nailed one-liners and ridiculous characters, and you've built up a modest but loyal following, and you think you're ready to move it off the small stage and onto the big screen. But how do you do it? From 20th Century Fox, this is Screen Dive, a show that takes a deeper dive into your favorite movies. I'm Alex Kratoski, and in this episode, we are going behind the shenanigans of the 2002 cult classic, beloved by stoners and cops alike, Super Troopers. What's a mustache ride?
there's me in everything I've ever written. There's a lot of me in the sandlot. There's no question about it. The half of the process of making the movie was figuring out how to make the movie. You want to make it in show business? The answer is no. And then you got to go past that. Coming soon from 20th Century Fox is Screen Dive with me, Alex Kratoski. A deeper look at the movies you love with exclusive interviews with the people who made them. I think I have this thing where I need everybody to think I'm the greatest, the quote-unquote fantastic Mr. Fox. I was new to it, so I had uh, so much to learn from all of these different people. You're killing me, Smalls. The Sandlot for me personally is my anti-childhood. My childhood sucked really bad. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. I was like, wow, this is like, this is like the world without us. Who wants a mustache ride? If you really want to unlock what we do, you know, smoking a joint is, is one way to do it. What you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue, it's not turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. How can it be that a hundred million people can see the same film and feel the same way? We, as a, as a culture, for a long time have gone out to movies together to laugh or be scared. The thing that is truly wonderful about storytelling is that it can give us that insight into lives that we've never lived. It can make us feel almost as if we've lived them. The first two episodes of Screen Dive land on the 5th of July. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. I don't ever get to talk about this like this, so I, I appreciate yeah. it. It's, I love talking about this. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs>